All right, it's me here, and I'm just doing a quick video on the for the Cactus Puncher DR650. So, um, this is after LAB to V2018, and I just um, uh, before LAB to V2018, I did a lot of work to get the Cactus Puncher um, ready for LAB to V2018. Um, this is the 2018. Um, I don't think I've, I haven't posted the videos yet for, uh, for the, uh, for the prep for LAB to V, but I did a lot of work on this bike to get ready because, um, after the TAT and Nevada BDR, it got messed up pretty bad. Um, and that's, you know, um, there's no bike that I've ridden, that I ride harder and that I've ridden more places than this bike right here. So I wanted to give it a little... A little reward, a Christmas present. It's almost it's almost Christmas, so Christmas is like next week or something. So I ordered some parts for it. So these are the parts that I ordered for it for Cactus Puncher, and um, I'm going to show you what they are. Uh, they're the stuff I, I've been meaning to like kind of replace lately, you know. And then the the more the harder you ride your bike, you know, the more the more it wears out faster, and then the more like stuff that you, you need to replace. So um, that's just kind of what's happening to this bike. Um, I've had to replace a lot of things on this bike, but they weren't hard. They didn't cost a whole lot of money. You know, it's not like a, it's not like riding like a BMW or something, you know, right? Um, so that's, I think, I believe that's the greatest, um, the DR650's greatest strength is it's in its simplicity and, you know, availability of parts. Um, there's just so many parts floating around out there. So, which brings me to um, the switch. So, the switch on the DR650 is, um, the, the, this is the left handlebar switch. I found one on uh, on eBay. I think it was for like about 30 bucks or something. But Plus, I got all this stuff. I bought all this, all this stuff uh, on a, during an eBay sale, so I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, I got, I got it about like, 15% off or something so so yeah um, so I wanted to reward cactus puncher plus um, I was gonna go on a Thailand trip a Thailand motorcycle adventure trip and I decided not to do it I just didn't have the money for it and I know taxes is gonna right around the corner and and the government's just gonna rate me for for my uh, tax money because because uh, I don't um, I'm I'm self-employed so so yeah um, so that's kind of the that's kind of the story there. Um, we're gonna be going. Uh, I'm planning to do a camping trip instead, like I did last year. Um, this time I want to go to uh, Death Valley and Joshua Tree, and we're gonna trailer the Cactus Puncher DR650 there because um, I've always wanted to do that. Um, I've never been to Joshua Tree, and um, I've never I've ri we've ridden through Death Valley. We rode through Death Valley last year. Um, yeah, a lot of times. This bike has been to Death Valley like at least three times, three or four times, man, a lot. And but most of the time we've just kind of just ridden through it, you know. But this time we're gonna go and just tour Death Valley, and we're gonna set up a camp, and then and then we're gonna we're gonna dual sport all over the place. <laughs> um, it's 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 fun to ride without the stuff on the bike. The bike is a lot lighter and easier to manage, all all the all the the camping stuff. That's, it's no fun to ride with all the camping stuff, so I think Death Valley would be better to ride, um, you know, if you have this little base camp. So anyway, the switch on the DR650 is going kind of bad. Um, the the signal switch is that, so I, I haven't been able to really change the lanes with this bike at all. Um, that's what I noticed during lab to b and uh, the, the switch... Um, the signal switch on the DR650 not very good. Um, you can see it's really gritty. It does it doesn't really work anymore. So it's one of those uh, push to cancel ones, which I do like, but it's just worn out over the years. I think it's just the dirt and everything got in there and messed it up. So I found this one. I think it's from a '96 DR650. Um, it's one year younger than this. Hopefully it still works. But um, this one's still in good shape. So. The, the light switches are okay, the horn button is okay on, on this one still, but the uh, the switch, the, the signal switch is not very good shape. 
So we will uh, we'll fix that. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. I think I got this for about 30 bucks. So we'll be installing that. And then uh, I get a Tusk, uh, Tusk Racing uh, Shift Lever for a DR650. It's uh, made out of, uh, it's all aluminum construction, really light. Um, really light, so that means it, it probably bends really easy too. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, my, uh, my, sh my shift lever is kind of wearing out. Um, the, uh, the shift lever is worn out a little bit, at least the, um, the rubber part on it. Um, but the shift lever is still good, but I wanted to replace it with something bling bling. So I got this Tusk one, plus I have a spare, um, oh, is that the right one? Yeah, I, um, I have a spare uh, shift lever that I had. And actually, this is my spare. This is the spare one that I put on. Um, a couple years ago, I went to did a Baja trip, and then uh, I bent the shift lever on the window rock trail. Uh, one thing I know is that this bike is not good for single track. It's just too wide. Um, I know the DR650 too wide, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, I decided to get one of these. Uh, I have the spare one in here, and it's bent. I mean, my, my spare is bent, so I decided to buy another one. Plus, it's, you know, it'll save some weight. I mean, it's really light, uh, and I like to try it out, you know. Um, this one doesn't have the rubber delay. It has, just has kind of like a knurled, uh, a knurled tip to it. Um, this one is, uh, is rubber, and it wears out. See? So, I mean, you could just replace the rubber, too, though. But, uh, but I decided, yeah, I mean, this costs... It probably costs less than a brand new one, a brand new stock shipper. So we'll we'll give it a try, and then we'll what I'll do is we'll take this one off, and we'll put that one in here, and then this one will just be whatever you know. Um, it's bent in like a weird shape, so I have to I would have to like twist it or something. So that's why I don't really like using that one. So that'll go on the bike. I believe that one was like like twenty dollars or something. I'll put a slip down below. And then uh, I, f I found out that uh, when I was cleaning the chain, see the chain's all nice and clean now, um, the uh, chain guide, the rear chain guide is busted. It's busted here, busted here and here. There's really, there's like only one piece holding it on. The chain guide itself is still in good shape. Um, it's pretty good for 37,000 miles. Um, uh, but yeah, it finally broke. I don't know how I broke it. I don't. It it may have been broken for a long time. I mean, it's still kind of doing its job, but sort of, kind of. One of these days, this thing's just gonna pop, just pop right off. Um, we did find out that the uh, chain guide, the chain slider, had a hole in it too. So I replaced that one before LAB to be. So, so now we gotta change this one. So yeah, and then that, and then uh, I have a gas tank to put on it um, for for when we go to Death Valley, so it's it'll be good to have a big gas tank so I don't have to worry about um, running out of gas in the desert, and I don't want to carry extra fuel, so should be good. Uh, we'll be replacing the old IMS here. Still a great tank, still in good shape, but I want a bigger one, so I don't have to carry extra gas with me. Um, that tank has more than an extra gallon in there, so I used to carry a one-gallon Rotapax, and... Um, and an MSR fuel bottle, and that's pretty much that's that carries the extra MSR fuel bottle right there. So so yeah, um, and we'll see how that is when we put it on. But uh, yeah, so that's it. That is the the uh, Cactus Puncher DR650 Christmas presents <laughs> for for 2018. Um, so I'll go install them all, and then uh, we'll probably do the shift lever first and then this one this one will just change it you know it's no big deal um.